um, uh, and the the new commissioner uh, is, the, will be very focused on teachers. I mean, it's, I mean that's you know, we all got where we did because we had some great teachers along the way. Uh, so we I, all did. I think there are some things that have happened or have been mentioned that have hurt that. Um, one of them is taking away pay incentives for advanced degrees. If there's no pay incentive for advanced degrees, why do teachers want to go back and hone their craft and find their skills? We have to remember that teaching is a skill. It is a science that is learned. Um, and there's also the mention of the parent trigger initiatives, which kind of sends a message to the general public that everybody in the state of Florida, every parent knows how to run a school, and that we don't have any professionalism, any certain craft that we're just Know, as good as anybody else to run the school. If I could pick again on Amy's comments, we had something in place that was merit pay, and that was national board certification, and there are members in this room that did that. It was a rigorous process. You had to really reflect on your craft. I grew as a professional from doing that, and I felt it was a break of trust with the state that told us they were going to reward us financially for that. I understand that there's been a shortfall of money, um, but why are we talking about tying that to a test when we have a process in place that works and it rewards us and treats us like professionals. Well, no, I, don't like I understand. I understand. You're my ninth governor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, my understanding is the districts can continue to do that. They can continue to compensate um, the way they want to. Um, yeah, we don't set any competition at the state level. Yes. We, we basically collect dollars and forward it to the but so, you set policy regarding testing as a way yeah, to testing. But the but the districts have the opportunity if they if they want to compensate better for degrees, they have the opportunity to do that. It's not the state's not going to stop that. As long as the money from the state gets to this district. Well what right. And what I'm gonna do is what I did last year is, is if I can control the growth rate of Medicaid and our and our economy gets better, which it is right now in Florida, then we will have mm -hmm. the right for the Medicaid part is a little scary because that goes back to the previous comment that we have impoverished kids that need that care. And if we cut that, you're hurting us in the classroom here as well. So okay. I'm not saying you personally. So I'm not doing it. I mean, the know, legislator. There's, that there's, makes 60, well, no, there's, there's $69 billion worth of cash that comes in. How do we allocate it? It's not like it, there's new money coming in. Right. So fortunately now, uh, it's growing. 